before. When? So it, um, when they played against Faceless, it was mm. a three-game series, and they played Underworld in all three, so they had one game loss. You know, it happens. Remaining. It can happen. I feel like Team Secret could still <laughs> come out ahead, but it's going to be tough. I feel like a lot's going to come, come down to that mid lane and make sure that Storm Spirit is not going to have uh, an awful time in the mid lane. But we are going to find out uh, what is going to happen as we head into our first game of our semifinals of the winner's bracket with Cuddle Guy and Fog. All right, Fog, tell me, how crippling is this now for Sumail in the mid lane having to deal with this? Because it looks like Puppy's not done with this mid lane yet. He's going to start coming in and really tickling Sumail. Sumail and taking might actually die here. Are you serious right now? That's... Sumail's going down first blood to Puppy as well. Takes the courier, takes the first blood, takes the initiative for Secret just like that. And already makes his advancement into enemy territory here. Maybe hoping to get a run back for his team and make an approach on the mid one. It looks like that is going to be the case here. But Puppy is still in the neighborhood and going right back onto Sumail as Zai comes in from behind looking to go for mid one could be a trade of peace puppy's not done yet looking to go for sumail needs a bit more can't get it hides back behind the tower now they're going to net down mid one they look to fight back and see if they can get size in exchange they may be able to and they will they do lose mid one but he's going to get involved with the xp and puppy involved in yet another kill but sumail jumps in hits him with the dagger puppy gets a bottle that. delivered though he buys a bottle with that but should be able to get him with the bugs and with the bloodlust and ignite and chase potential Crits close, but I don't know how much one whisk could do to help him out. He goes in right away to help him. That's going to be the burrow. Puppy's in there as well. They already turned it back. He's going to be able to get the takedown of Kazoo, but it's going to cost them their crit. And now they're going to turn it right back into RTZ. This will turn into a two for one trade. Going to secret. Puppy claims a double. Exclusively jungle. He's got his level six now. I imagine he's going to be looking to put it to some use here Hi. soon enough. Nearby. Pie and Fist of Cups here with Zai. And I said he wants to put that ult to use. He might not even need it here, but Pi's looking to make his getaway as Midwan looks to step in, looking to go for Zai. Won't be able to get it down to Mel. He's out of here. Pops the TP and he can't really stand toe to toe versus the Queen of Pain still as that. Oh, and P, they're making the move. Pi's shown up. He's going to get him with the open wounds, followed up with the stun, but it is Universe very tanky. Looks to go for the TP. Can he make it away? No. There's going to be Infest Pop and it's going to be good enough to bring down the big guy. Actually, there's a TP coming in now. If I can be breaking out to get the quick, quick takedown of the Sand King, and now crit can be caught on the other side. Arteezy back behind the tower here, now caught between three or four secret members. Could lose his own life. It's the magic missile off, but it's gonna be too late for him. It's a two for one trade, going the way of secret, and it's mid one who claims both of those kills. Great reactions coming out from Secret. Five kill score to Secret's eight. Uh, Sumail just seemed like he wanted to go for his own, but stay in the lane. The four of them should be able to press that tower. Oh, oh big jump in. Double. Bomb, and they're going to quickly take out Crit. They're going to look to go to the follow-up takedown of support side. They may be able to get it while simultaneously going for RTZ2. They'll just take the two for it looks like. MP claims both of them here. Sumail's going for the play here. He's got a Veil as well, so significantly tank. Lots of mobility and potential with the... Storm Spirit and Life Sealer, they're already the ones putting the aggression on a tier two for the first time when you're playing versus a Chen lineup. That's really ideal. You're yep. getting so much more access to the enemy jungle. Able to relocate. relocate bottom lane. They're looking to make a move for Kazoo. He makes his approach towards the river. Sonic Wave will get the connection and one more right click to get the job done. Probably wasn't ideal for Sumail to be able to get that finish. Mid lane, though, the action doesn't stop as they get their own trade. Artiz is going to be going down mid one. Jumping in, looking to go for crit. MP's there to pick up the pace, but now Universe shows up and suddenly, I don't know if they're happy about these numbers. So Secret will pull back it away, but Sumail jumps in, does not have that ultimate. They're tier two in the top, so they're lot defending of trouble. It. We see the five man ports coming in. A on the shrine, two in the back. Jump in from mid one, looking to go for the back line. He gets the grab on the Universe, but he's a big target. He'll settle for crit instead. Drops out the pit though, and they're going to go quickly take out the Sand King. Swap back for mid one, looking for a spot to jump out. Very low on life and mana. Finds a little side pocket to just walk away from, and we'll find out. Does seem like they know something's up. They did have a ward on that high ground, which I believe spotted that. So Arteezy in a very aggressive frontal position, ready to break the smoke. Yep. Aegis does get reclaimed right now. This looks like it's Secret's time to go. Things are out right now. The Aegis is gone. Secret looking to creep in. And one drops illusion. There's going to be the pit. Arteezy scooted in, and now they get the burrow. They get the connection. Arteezy is going to be focused. Sonic Wave comes out from Sumail. They will be able to reposition. Double back. There's going to be the Agnums. It resets mid one. Bit. Now they look to re-engage. Sumail will be able to make it back and away, and it could be EG pulling off right now, but no one goes down yet. Now the relocate back, and as they set up, there's going to be the new hit. They're making the move in. Puppy's looted up, tries to step out, but he's going to be going down. Here comes the Epi from Kazoo, and it's going to be a big one. Not big enough to take out Sumail, but they will get the grab on his eye. Universe looking to go for the Dark Rift. We'll be able to pull him back out and away, but 
Seeker get a good notch on that one. Sumail backs off and out. Sumail gets mid one though. Mid one yeah. jumps in aggressively onto him and does get cleaned up. It's, Universe only does a short dark rift too, so Seeker's not gonna expect this one. They look like they're gonna go back in right now. Re engagements there as MT pops out the rage. Back on out. Jesus gone. Swap back for MP. They might be able to get him here. And it looks like they could. Mid one though steps right back in, gets the pull on to Sumail as he pops the blade mail though. Eats a stun and now he's locked in this place and he's gonna be taken out. Gets to the nine at the last second, but he does end up going down. MP on retreat. They're just scooting in. They don't want to let him get away so easily and they will get the finish. Pi's also gonna be the victim. Technically a five-man wipe here coming out from EG. G. Secret, a lineup, you look at it, it's it's a fair high ground defensive lineup. You know, a lot of it rests on Kezu's Sand King to kind of get that epic burrow strike and set up with the epicenter, but this is not going to be easy. It's with you to repeat the amount of sustain, the regen, the tankiness, the, the auras. auras. The, the auras. auras are just... Look at that, still at nine. Oh, oh jumping, quick bomb. Are they going to get the finish? They can't do it. They're going to spin it quickly. Get the XA onto crit. They will be able to get the mid one refreshed, but jumping back now, it is going to be the Sonic Wave MP. Oh man, he's getting hit real hard here, trying to retreat up north to make it back out, but he might not be able to make it out, toggling his way away from the army of Zai, but there's going to be the jump in from Sumail. Not going to be good enough to get the finish. MP makes it back inside, and it's EG who actually lose too. They have two supports are fairly squishy, but the others are very tanky. They go re-engage, Arkwart is a nice two-man burrow from... Sumail Artis so tanky with all these auras. They're getting the turn up onto Pi. They got him down. mid -one was able to get pulled back inside the base, but mentioned Pi not going to be so lucky here. Sumail for further advancement. It's a puppy and goes right back into the tower looking to go for the finish. Jump in. Lincoln's going to get popped. They get the pullback grab. Can they get the finish? Lock him into place here. Pops the blade mail. There goes the epi, but it's a bit off the mark right there. And it just it's a bit too south. Now they drop the pit. And they look to bring it back in and they'll get the MP takedown. He does have a buyback, but they will be losing another in the form of their SK. And that buyback is going to be coming out here and now as they lose that tier three. The Raxes are exposed. They're going to have to pull out the fortification now. But EG not letting up one Bit. They're looking to go for the first real hit inside the base. MP on the back side. Ooh, they get Arteezy shoved in the low ground, and he'll be safe. Sumail, though, still stuck inside. Pop the blade mail, blinks back out and away, and it's Arteezy to pull in. But that's a bit. They just juggle between each other, constantly healing, constantly patting each other on the back, and they'll be able to get that quick Rax, and then get the hell out of there. To the shrine again. Very imposing here, as they will come in and ascend into the high ground. Secret. Back on defensive duty once again, and already this tier three set to be going down. Midwan goes in, he goes right to a pit lock in this place. He has to get bailed out by the time lapse to survive. Tier three is dropped. Can't fight into this. It's it's too much to stand. And with the pit on top, it's too much control. Backline only do get crit. Or do, they? or do they? He jumps in, gets healed up. He's gonna be fine. And mid one, oh he's gonna be the one to blow up as he tries desperately to go in for the finish. It's gonna be Puffy forced to use the time lapse on himself to get back inside. And easy just get right back to the grindstone of finishing off what they had started. Mid lane Rax has got to go. Actually, it's MP who's next on the target. They get a good connection with him, not able to get the burst though. And now they set their focus, Sumail and Arteezy shoving him back inside the fountain with the rest of EG able to finish up that mid lane. The help of Zai's army. Looks like EG are going to be able to get the, the nod in game number one, Fog. It's just, it's too hard to deal with to fight into this. It's too much damage reduction. Sumail being able to blink in like that. Oh, they're desperate to try to make something happen here. Sumail gonna get locked down in place quite a bit. They're waiting for the return of Midwan, which is just about now. He's gonna quickly jump in, looking to get a target onto anyone, but Universe is saying, we gotta go, folks. Looking to pack him up, and they are gone. To the shrine again. To the shrine. <laughs> Full heal. Five-man shrine usage, and let's go again, guys. They use MP. Might get caught off guard by this again. Let's I mean, he does. you just see him bail out and you figure that they're going to be long gone, maybe back inside their base, but they're not gone very far, MP. They're just right there. There's no buyback for MP, and he is down. Yeah, a minute without a buyback. I think this one is potentially going to be Radiant over here. EG back inside the base, looking to go for the Megas, and they got it. Good game. And it's going to be EG who takes game number one in this best of three. So it's two kills that he got in the last in the last 12 minutes, they killed two supports. They weren't able to bring down any of the cores of EG. The sustain was absolutely ridiculous. The damage reduction as well. Excellent game plan coming out from EG Secret, just unable to throttle it in any I, way. I had not seen anything like that since we saw like the era of what, like Beast.